when we're looking at your feet, I can kind of see that this whole part of the foot is, is sunk and it's really low to the ground. In fact, if I just pick it up, and I'm just gonna pick up the whole foot, and I'm just gonna let you rest just like that, and I'm just gonna kind of move some stuff around here. If I try to lift this up, it doesn't go up at all, but it, it sure goes down a whole bunch, but it, it really can't tolerate any up pressure. And if I run my hand evenly underneath the base of your foot, this whole side of the foot is just sunk. So the pinky toe side is sunk and it sits lower than everything else. And that's why the big toe side is almost floating. It's up in the air. So as we cast you, I was putting more weight on this side of the foot to help drive that down. And we don't have as much weight over here because this first met just likes to float, likes to sit up in the air. So we can actually manipulate the cast a little bit by the weight we displace on top of the foot. So that way, all of these issues that we see, such as a sunk first met, a raised first met, that can actually be naturally embedded into your cast. So that way, when you're standing on top of it, everything is even, the whole weight system is even. From the ball of the foot all the way to the heel, it's even pressure, even through the arch, through the first met, through the fifth met, through everything. As you stand, the way we design this is that it's gonna feel like even weight. A lot of times we'll get foot fatigue, cramps, aching, because one part of the foot is bearing more weight than the rest of the foot. And this is how we're gonna alleviate that, is by manipulating the cast so that that way this has as much weight on it as this does and everything else. We're gonna get you some new foot beds today. We're gonna replace what you have. And first things first, I'm just gonna slide this underneath your foot, feet right there. Take your time. Okay. And when you're ready, I'll just let you just drop your feet right in here. When we're gonna cast you, the best position for you to be in is nice and upright. What we're looking for is hips, knees, and ankles, all at 90 degree angles. That's just gonna put everything in the most neutral position so we can get a good quality cast for you. I'd say it's a good mid-volume foot. There's nothing crazy, odd, no, sure. no weird shapes about it. Um, maybe a little bit of a bony prominence right here. This side a little bit too. Um, quite thin back here, but that's typical. And- the arches? Yeah, I mean, you've got a little bit of space under there. I think this is gonna be quite helpful because that's the nice thing about building a footbed is that's gonna help fill that empty space under your arch. Now there's machines on and active. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna just slide this back under you just to here so we get just a tiny bit of flex in your ankle. And before I start casting, what we're looking for is, do you feel like you've got even pressure on the heel and the ball of the foot? Or does one of those feel more weighted? And you don't have to think too hard about it. And that's all we're looking for. We don't have to be exact. And they are. We just want the feet to be loose and natural. So you're fine. No worries. So I'm going to start on this foot right here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of turn you in and I'm going to bring this knee out just a hair so I can draw a nice straight line down from the knee down to the bottom. And again, what we're trying to achieve is just a good neutral position. So when the foot is in the boot, this is a footbed that's been produced to keep that foot in the most neutral, comfortable position inside of the ski boot that we can possibly have it in. So, and again, this isn't hard. You don't need to stand up. You don't need to press. You don't need to bear any weight. I'm gonna take the foot and I'm gonna apply all the downwards pressure. So I'll just get you lined up there. This is looking good. And these little buttons, what they do is they just kind of help shake around the little glass beads that are in here. It's almost like sand. What this is doing is it's oscillating. It's getting all the sand to move right now. So as we do that, this is when we're kind of gonna set you in, almost drop you in there like quicksand and good job sitting up. <laughs> you caught yourself. I did. <laughs> and this is how we get a really good imprint of your foot. It's like sand, it's really glass beads. Just a couple of millimeter glass beads. There's thousands of them in there though. So it's similar to sand, uh -huh. but it's a little different. And I actually do wanna just reset this cast. I wanna shift you back just a little bit more. It looks like I could get just a little bit better shape back here if I just reset you. And that's the beauty of these machines is if it's not right the very first time, it's very easy to just erase and redo. These are in tons of stores across the country, all over the place, um, even Europe, Australia. They're all over the world, really, not just in the United States. They're all over the world. And that's primarily what our business is. We sell ski boot fitting tools, everything from casting machines to semi-custom footbeds to fully custom footbeds even to the tools that we use to work on ski boots and that's 
is what our business is, is ski boot fitting in a, in a nutshell, really. And then you, you so we also host Master Fit University, which is an education course. So shops will pay and they will send their employees to our stores or to our locations. We will rent out big venues like hotels and shops from all around the area will send their employees and we will host a couple day clinics on how do you fit a ski boot? How's that work and, and what do you need to do to be a good boot fitter? And people come and they learn, they get educated, and that's another big piece of our business. There's a lot of talented shops out there, you know, we're not the only game in town, certainly, but the advantage you have is you have a wealth of experience. You have instructors like Greg Hoffman, who's been doing this for over 40 years, and him and many, many others. We've got a crew of about 15 educators here, and we've all been doing this for a very long time, and so we'd like to think that the, the accumulation of education that we can provide is going to surpass just about any shop. You walk into a shop and you see this with yeah. MasterFit on it, then you know they have partnered with you. Yeah, uh, they're at least, at the very least, a dealer of ours. And if you're a dealer, well, you've been trained, you've been educated on how to do this. If you see this in a shop, uh, there's a good chance that they know what they're doing. Yeah. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the orthotic blank so it gets soft and noodly. Okay. I'm going to take this foot out, I'm going to rest you right on this black bar right here. Then I'm gonna drop the footbed in the tray, and then I'm gonna take your foot, and I'm gonna put you back on top of that so we get a really good imprint. Okay. This is a layer of plastic and foam on the top, just 16th inch foam, uh -huh. um, eighth inch plastic here, and all it is is just a very nice conformable product. So now that this is heated up, it's easy up here. This hasn't been heated, that's stiff, that doesn't bend, but everywhere else that's been heated is nice and flexible. So what that's gonna allow us to do is, that's gonna allow us to take this cast shape that we've just built, and that's gonna put that shape into this product right here. So what I do is I'm just gonna drop this in, if I can get that to set, there we go. And all we want, we just want this to fill the shape that we've just built. Lay that in there nice and easy. Then we're gonna put your foot in there, lay that right on top, and then I'm gonna bend that knee out just a hair again so I can get that nice even line. That looks great. If I'm feeling the edge of it on my heel, it's fine. Yeah, as long as I it's... I like it's not coming up. See how I'm, I feel like I'm standing on it? On it? Let's have a look here. We want to put something cold on top of these to cool them down. Because again, once they get cold, that's going to help this shape set permanently. So if you don't mind, I'll just let you lift your feet straight up in the air. I'm going to slide that out from under you, and that's the hard part. And these sacks of marbles here, these are frozen marbles. So they're like ice packs, but the nice thing about marbles is they can kind of change shape and, and hit all the little creases and corners in there to cool the whole thing down. So and now what we want to do is I just want to put it in the liner. I want to see how does this fit into the liner? Does it feel like it fills it up? Does it feel like it's sliding around? Does it feel like it's too long? Well, once we put it in, I'm just using my hands to feel around, and this actually feels great. The footbed looks good. It fits well. The final step is we're going to have you dive right into these and see what you think once we have you try them on.